In a previous video, we introduced knights and knave problems and showed how to solve them using truth tables. Today, we'll go a little further and show how to involve the biconditional connective to solve them. Remember that in a knight and knave problem, there are two types of people on an island, knights and knaves. Knights always tell the truth, and knaves always lie. In this puzzle, we encounter two islanders, person A and person B. The first person says, if the other is a knave, then I am a knight. And the second islander says, the other could claim that I am a knave. What can we say about these two islanders? Can we tell if they're knights or knaves? As before, we will organize this information in a truth table. We let P stand for Islander A is a knight and Q stand for Islander B is a knight. And the truth table has a column for P and a column for Q and four rows for the four possible truth situations. Person A says, if B is a knave, then I am a knight. This can be interpreted as not Q implies P. Because this is a connective between two atomic propositions and is a conditional, there's exactly one place where it's false, and that's in the bottom row. Person B says something more complicated. A could claim that I am a knave. We can interpret this as P and not Q, or not P and Q. This takes a moment to think about, but basically, they have to be of different types. When we go through and we fill in the truth table, we end up with F, T, T, F, like this. We employ the biconditional between the proposition P and the proposition the person A said. The reason we do this is because knights will tell the truth and knaves will always lie. And the biconditional will find if there's a truth teller that's lying or a liar that's telling the truth. Now we do the same thing with proposition Q and the proposition that person B said. Again, the biconditional will figure out if a truth teller told a lie or if a liar told the truth, which is not supposed to happen. The biconditional returns a false in these situations. The two biconditional propositions have already determined when Islander A and Islander B are following the rules of the island. So we and them together to figure out when both of the islanders are following the rules simultaneously. But now this final column in the truth table has only one true value in the last row. That means that the last row is the one we must be in, which means both P and Q are false. But P and Q being false means that both of the islanders are not knights or both of them must be knaves. This has to be true despite the fact that both of the knaves claim to be knights.